Before constructing the footing, ram the base of the footing trench adequately. A concrete bed of 150 mm thick in 1 is to 4 is to 8 mix is laid over the rammed earthen base. This bed provides a leveled surface for the footing. The reinforcement cage is lowered onto the concrete bed and vertical bars of the column are placed in correct position and tied to the footing reinforcement mat. The sides of the trench have to be splashed with cement mortar. Necessary shuttering is to be provided depending on the type of the footing. The bed shall be cleaned of all the foreign material and wetted before pouring the concrete. Concrete shall be compacted using mechanical vibrator. In sloped footings, which consume relatively less concrete, the slopes start at the face of the column and joints at the edge of the pedestal. The sloped portion is supported by flat bottom pedestal which assumes a trapezoidal shape at the column junction. The concrete placed in the sloped portion shall be relatively stiffer so that it does not slide down along the slope. Care should be taken to compact the concrete well in the sloped portion. Steep sloped footings may require top form to hold the concrete in place. Stepped footing contains two or three rectangular or square pedestals whose width decreases towards the column junction. Shuttering has to be made to hold the concrete in the successive steps as shown. This type of footing consumes less concrete compared to block footing. Block footing, as the name suggests, is in the form of a block which is easy to construct and consumes slightly more concrete. The concrete would be denser in block and stepped footings in comparison to sloped footings. Check the excavation for its dimensional accuracy before laying the foundation. Secure the vertical rods in the foundation firmly in its position. Use minimum M20 grade of concrete. Ensure proper compaction of concrete in the sloped portion of the foundation. Concrete in stepped or block footings attain better compaction.